up everybody? So I have admittedly been slacking on the mechanical side of the house for the Bastard Martin. I've just been so excited about getting the body straightened out. I've been putting all my time into that. So today, we're gonna finally tackle putting in the new Mantic clutch that Mantic provided for us to put into our LS3. It'll hold up to that twin turbo power better than anything else out on the market. So first things first, you gotta pull everything apart. I obviously am very fortunate because my motor and transmission are out of the car, so this is pretty easy for me to do. If you've got it in the car, make sure you're using a transmission jack and all that kind of stuff and, you know, safety. A little trouble here uh, getting the baby to pop off the motor, but, you know, I get it in the end, of course. Voila! I pulled off my starter. You don't have to do that, but uh, it's going to make your life a lot easier. It'll, uh prevent you from hitting the flywheel on the starter. Pull off the old clutch and uh, I'll tell you I didn't really think this thing was that bad of shape but man it was uh, all kind of blistered and heat scored all over the, the flywheel and the uh, pressure plate so uh, I'm definitely glad I didn't try to send it with this original factory clutch in there. Pull off the flywheel. And here we have it. Aluminum flywheel, the Mantic twin disc clutch. Uh, this stuff is super nice. It's a rebuildable kit, so if you uh, burn this baby up and send it back to them, get it rebuilt. Uh, way cheaper than buying a whole new kit. It is nice. Make sure you clean everything really well with brake clean, paint thinner, or whatever, something that's gonna get all the grease and fingerprints and stuff off of it. You'll notice I got a piece of cardboard there. Uh, I put on all these bolts and then uh, put this cardboard behind it, pro tip, so that when you pick this thing up, it doesn't fall all over the place. Put in all your blocks, do a little 242 Loctite on all the flywheel bolts and then uh, use that ARP assembly lube on each of the bolts so that it doesn't uh, lock up when you're torquing it down. Here's where that uh, cardboard came in really handy. Nothing fell off. Get the flywheel hung on there, sink in some bolts, get them nice and hand tight. Use a wrench to take out the slack and kind of get the flywheel snugged up against the crank there. When you go to torque this thing down, you're going to 85 foot-pounds. Make sure you got the crank locked into place with the pry bar or something. Double check all your torques, of course, and then clean it all one more time. Grab your first clutch disc. Make sure it says the flywheel side. Put that up to the flywheel and slide it in there. The next plate's gonna say pressure plate side and flywheel side so make sure you got it pressure plate pointing out away from the motor next pressure plate clean it slap it on there grab the cover for the whole thing get it slipped on you're gonna have to finagle the bolts a little bit because they might have popped out of their trough get it all finger tight as best you can Once you've got them all finger tight, slide in your clutch tool while it's all nice and loose. I used a driver to take out the slack. There's a lot of room when you're tightening this thing up, but don't over tighten it. I'm going to torque everything down to 25 foot pounds on this. As you can see, there's still a long way to go once you've got them pretty snug on there. Just take your time and make sure you're crossing back and forth across the clutch system. 
Ui. Ui. And that's it. Clutch installed. On the motor anyways. Now, put your starter back in there. And we'll pop over to the transmission. So you gotta remove your clutch line that goes into the throw out bearing there. Just a little snappering. Got a couple of 10 millimeter bolts to take out there and the old throw out bearing comes out easy peasy. Pop in the new one, bolt her down. Then you can pop your line back in and you are done with the installation side of the house. However, comma, you are definitely not done. This uh, step gets skipped a lot and that usually leads to clutch failure, throw out bearing, explosion, leaks, and, and bad stuff. So you gotta do these measurements to make sure that your setup is fitting correctly. Uh, as you can see here, this diagram shows you the distances you need to measure, but what it really comes down to is distance C, the distance from the fingers of the clutch and a throw out bearing. It has to be between half an inch and five eighths. Otherwise, you're gonna run into problems. So take a flat edge, put it across the entire clutch, and then measure the distance from the block to the flat edge, using a micrometer. Then, same flat edge, measure from the fingers inside the pressure plate there to the outside of the flat edge. Then on the transmission, flat edge across the bell housing to the throw out bearing. Now I admit, I don't math very good, but with these measurements and some simple addition and subtraction, I was able to figure out that I need a half inch spacer. Distance to the block, 4.66, minus distance to the fingers, 1.38, gives me 3.28. And as we can see, those uh, distances don't fall within specs of half an inch to 5 eighths, so I need this spacer. Fortunately, the dudes over at Mantic are awesome at providing everything you need to get this thing installed, so I hit them up and they sent me a spacer. Piece of cake. Make sure you guys check out Mantic Clutch USA. Go to their website, check them out on Instagram. They have street clutches all the way up to their badass quad clutch that can handle over 2,000 horsepower. It's just insane, the, the things these guys are making. So uh, I'm pretty excited to have it in the car. I can't wait to get it out on the track and show what their products can do. Thanks for checking out this video. If you liked it, make sure you uh, follow and subscribe to all the Taco Viking videos coming your way. If you got any questions about installing a clutch in your car, make sure to ask me. I can help you with anything you got going on. Taco Viking out.